Christine has to be in the family. Janelle has to be in the family. And basically, I said, if you want to be in the family, then you have to understand, I need you to run your will to mine. Are you OK with that? Because I've, I'm going to be the head of the family. I've got two wives I have to take care of. I have a very big pitch. You understand that. Will you help me with it? And they're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, me, pick me, pick me. everyone it's katie from without a crystal ball welcome back to my channel it is tuesday june 13th 2023 if you're cody brown and you have access to money that your wives make and you have like this pot of gold that you can just throw your money around and throw it into anything that you want what would you spend your money on where would you put your money would you put it into expensive jewelry? Would you buy your wife ridiculous knickknacks all over the house, like teapots and all of her 8 million pieces of art? And by wife, I mean his wife, Robin. Would you invest the money in your kid's future? Would you spend money paying off your property? What would you spend your money on? Would you spend money, say $10,000, on political contributions when you're telling people that you can't afford to pay off property and that you don't have the money to build? Would you spend that kind of money on political contributions? Let me know. Because Cody Brown's money that he spent in the last several years is kind of interesting and it's actually in the last two years. This is not the last I don't know, 10 years, it's almost $10,000. It's pretty wild. So Cody Brown has this propensity to spend other people's money. He has a propensity to spend, and the spending was literally for two years. They haven't spent, he hasn't donated a dime since October of 2022, which is kind of weird. If you think about that, there's elections basically being fundraised for right now. There's a lot going on in the news politically. You know I don't talk about the politics all the time, but you know that Cody Brown is a huge Trump fan. And he, in the last several years, has donated almost $10,000 to causes either supporting Donald Trump, supporting conceal and carry uh, legislation, supporting the Republican Party and other areas. And that money, while it's every citizen has the ability to donate to whoever they want. It's an interesting choice given that he has been saying for years that he doesn't have the money to help his wives. And then when you look at the amount of money that his wives donated, it's astonishing. So let's dive into today's topic. Before we do, can you please do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, please subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Make sure to ring the bell if you'd like to get notified of any time I go live or new content loads. And if you have a comment, make sure to say something. I'd love to hear it and share the video with your friends. When I was looking at the amount of money that Cody was spending, I was flabbergasted. Cody Brown doesn't have the same deep pockets as, say, Jim Bob Duggar because he has five homes that he was supposed to, four homes that he was supposed to be contributing to theoretically. He was supposed to be helping his wife, Robin, and then three other wives. He also has a bunch of minor children that he was supposed to be taking care of. And he had a ton of properties that he had just purchased. He literally had uh, a bunch of property that he's sitting on right now that is just vacant because he doesn't have the money to build. But that didn't stop him from throwing a ton of money towards political campaigns. And I'm bringing this up because on Shiny Happy Fe People, Duggar Family Secrets, they really brought up this idea about how TLC is platforming these extremist groups, uh, like the Duggars and Sister Wives and other extremists, like the Amish, uh, other like sort of on the fringe, right? 
and that have very problematic beliefs. Now with the Amish, they, they are leaving the Amish, so it's a little bit different. But in this world, in the Sister Wives, they've been pro-polygamy for years. And so when you think about who Cody is supporting and the kinds of content that he is supporting, you have to sort of think about like, this is the kind of money that he's spending. And then this is also money that he's not giving to his kids. This is money that is not going towards other things that could be paid for. Cody's spending started in July of 2020, okay? And he started with money towards Donald Trump's presidential campaign. And he also donated to uh, the Win Red, which is like every single political company, there's a Win Red for the, that which goes to different uh, candidates within the Republican Party. And then there's an Act Blue, which goes to Rep uh, Democratic parties. Every single person can donate to whatever candidate that they want. So he started donating in July of 2020. Between July and 2020 and October of 2022, he made 56 donations and he spent almost $10,000, $9,952. Now, the benefit for some people is one, that they can get a tax deduction for money that they donate. And tax deductions are, you know, they can help, can, you can write this off on your taxes. But Cody Brown is always complaining about how they don't have money. They are literally always complaining about how they don't have money. And something I think is kind of stunning is when I looked at what Janelle spent. Now, Janelle also contributed to uh, outlets that were Republican endorsed. And listen, I don't think you should expect anything different because they're fundamentalist. They're uh, fundamentalist on the L Mormon side. And so you're, they're going to be conservative. But when Janelle donated, she was donating $12 and 50 cents. She was donating, donating $50. She was donating $2. She was donating $25, right? She didn't have a single donation and she only has seven. She only has seven donations and she spent less than $200 since 2020. Cody has made 60, 56 donations and he has donated to Win Red, Donald Trump for President, Trump Make America Great Again Committee, Trump for President Inc., lots of Trump, lots of Trump, lots of Win Red, Save America, Republican National Committee. In the fall of 2022, he donated to the U.S. Conceal Carry Association for Saving Lives. And he's, he donated to this gun organization for multiple times. And then he made a number of contributions to the Win Red, um, with his last contribution being on October 28th of 2022. Now, the interesting thing is, is that now what I think is super interesting here is the bulk of Cody's spending happened between July of 2020 through December, end of December of 2020. There was a five to six month period. And in that period, Cody spent 87, 47, 50 on the various campaigns for Republican uh, Republican candidates. And his spending ramped up after the election occurred and during the period in which Donald Trump was claiming that the election was stolen, which we all know is false. Uh, some people still believe it's true, but it's false. And during the period that there was all this media out there that was claiming that the election, there was fake electors and there was uh, people, dead people voting and all this like misinformation and that the election uh, machines were broken and that they, there was a massive defamation lawsuit around that and they lost on that because those election machines were not broken. But in that period, he got obviously triggered to the extent that he spent $8,700, okay? This is the end of 2020. This is not long after Christine and him are starting to have problems, okay? So he goes and he spends almost $9,000 in that six month period. And Christine leaves and says she's leaving in April of 2021. Cody doesn't make a single donation until the f again in like summer of 2022. And in the summer of 2022 till December again, or till October, he only spends $12,000. $12,000. 
$1,200. So he went from a period where he spent almost $9,000 in 2020 when he had access to Christine's money and to the pot of money that all the wives had. By the time that he's left and by the time Christine is left and by the time Janelle is left, he only has $1,200 to spend on political campaigns. That's a humongous difference, huge, which tells me that during that period in 2020, he was obviously believing whatever was out in the media and he's ramping up money and he's sending the money to all these campaigns trying to like win the election because that was during the time when they were like steal the election. So he's spending money that could have been spent on his kids Christmas. It could have been spent on paying off the lots. It could have been spent on a lot of different things. This was during the period that Janelle was having a hard time finding housing. This was during the period where Janelle needed a truck. This was during the period that Christine decided to leave. And so when Christine leaves in April of 2021, mind you, there's no elections really in 2021. So there's not a lot of reason for him to donate. And then 2022 is the midterm elections. But the huge difference between what he donated for 2020 versus 2022, and you compare that to the fact that Janelle says that she and him stopped communicating in December of like, they go up, they have this huge fight in December of 2021. She says by May of 2022, their relationship is basically over and they separate. She starts her own business, puts all the money in her LLC. Christine at that point starts her own business. Cody and Robin separate their businesses. Mary separates her business. So when Cody had access to everyone's money, he was spending it hand over fist on whatever he wanted. When he didn't have access to money, he still was able to spend $1,200, okay? This tells me that Cody's pot to piss in is very small now and that he has overextended himself. It also tells me that he got roped into the, you know, that whole scheme that happened. And I feel bad for anyone that donated during that period. Regardless, though, think of where that money could have gone. He has a daughter, Truly, who was underage at that point, still is. Savannah, who was underage at that point, Isabel, who was underage at that point, and I'm pretty sure that Gwendolyn was still at home during that time, and then he's also got Aurora that was home at that time, he's got Brianna at that, at that time, he's got kids in college that he's not paying for, he's not paying the kids that are appearing on the show, and what I think is really funny here is that I got this message around, it was when the Sister Wives season was ending. Someone that, who knows Mary, contacted me and was like, yeah, I was talking to Mary and, or someone, I don't know if they're talking to Mary or Janelle. And one of the wives had audited the income that was going into the money of the accounts of the family. And I'm probably, I'm sure it was probably Janelle. And she saw there was like all this money being spent on things that could have gone to other things. And on the show, Janelle made the comment about how when she was looking at the finances, she noticed that things were not being prioritized for the family. Things were not being prioritized for her. Things were not being prioritized to pay off the lots. And that Cody, she was implying that Cody and was spending money very friv frivolously. Gwendolyn has confirmed that her dad spends money frivolously and that even Robin has very expensive tastes. And we've already seen what Robin's house looks like. It's a monstrosity. So Cody is literally burning through TLC cash, throwing it to political campaigns. And as soon as the wives leave, he has like no money to give to campaigns or very um, a nominal amount when you compare it. If you think of how this will look when you think of how he had all this money before and now you see that drastic difference between the spending, he spends $8,700 in one campaign stretch and $1,200 in the next. Now apply that to all facets of his life and see where his money is right now. 
Cody has a house that has multiple mortgages on it. During the period of time after he spends $10,000 on these political camp campaigns, he refinances his home with Robin the very next year. And he says that he needs money immediately, that time is of the essence and he needs a home equity loan now and he needs it right now and it's $150,000. He was spending money like he was never going to lose it. Once Christine leaves, he has to take out loans on his house. He mortgages his house up a lot. There's still equity, but you have to remember he owes Janelle money from that equity and he owes Mary money from that equity because Mary and Janelle helped pay for that home. So he doesn't have that equity. They put over $300,000 into that home. So if Cody and Robin owe $700,000 on that house, and it's worth 1.2, 300,000, so there's $500,000 of equity in that. 300,000 of that does not belong to him. It belongs to Janelle, and it belongs to Mary. Cody has literally hardly any money to his name. He's got like a net income of 200,000 if you look at it that way. It's wild. This is a man that's been on TV for over 10 years and he has nothing to show for it. And he has children that are not getting paid child support. He has kids that are never been paid for being on the show. Think of where he spent the money on this show that he earned on this show that didn't go to his kids. He's no better than Jim Bob Duggar. He's very financially irresponsible. Jim Bob at least hoards his money and buys real estate. Cody does not, but it's an abuse of his wife's money. It's an abuse of his kid's money. And it's just a proof of his frivolous spending. And when Janelle says they're going to be broke and in poverty and bankrupt by the time his show is over, she's not lying. Cody and Robin, I guarantee you right now are having trouble paying bills. I guarantee you that those properties that they own at uh, Flags at Coyote Pass will be gone in a heartbeat. I guarantee you that now that the show has run its course and it's almost over, they will lose everything. There will be a bankruptcy filing by the time the show is over. And Cody's charmed life of being able to throw $9,000 in five months at a political campaign when he could have spent that money and invested it in something else, he's going to make, he's going to have regrets, deep ones. And the whole world will be laughing at him and angry at him for not paying his wife's and not paying his kids. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.